there are many great works of literature written throughout time. Few in the English-speaking world are known as well as Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is Emily Bronte's only novel, a masterpiece that has captivated readers since its publication in 1847. Wuthering Heights tells the story of Heathcliff, an orphan taken in by the Earnshaw family, and his intense and tumultuous relationship with his adopted sister, Catherine Earnshaw. From childhood friends to soulmates, their deep connection faces societal pressures, leading Catherine to marry Edgar Linton, a man of higher social standing, setting off a chain of events fueled by jealousy and vengeance that affects generations. The novel is renowned for its intricate narrative structure, narrated through the eyes of Mr Lockwood, a tenant of Thrushcross Grange, and Nellie Dean, the housekeeper of Wuthering Heights. This layered storytelling weaves together a tale that is both haunting and tragic, pulling the reader into the very heart of its storm. Heathcliff emerges as one of literature's most unforgettable characters, embodying the anti-hero with his brooding nature and undying love for Catherine. His character challenges the traditional notions of the romantic hero, drawing readers into a whirlwind of emotions and leaving them questioning the very essence of love and redemption. Wuthering Heights is not just a love story, it delves into themes of social class, nature versus nurture, and the destructive power of obsession. Bronte's use of the moors as a backdrop is symbolic, reflecting the wild and untamable spirits of Heathcliff and Catherine, and their love that transcends life and death. The novel's portrayal of female characters, particularly Catherine Earnshaw, was revolutionary for its time. Catherine's struggle between her true desires and societal expectations speaks volumes about the constraints of women in the 19th century, making her character as relevant today as she was then. Overall, Wuthering Heights remains a timeless classic, its themes of love, loss and revenge resonating with readers across generations. If you'd like to hear us talk about more areas of literature, culture and far more, please do like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.